<coughs> Hi, my name's Lee, and I'm going to show you a little bit of how you convert RGB colour into hexadecimal and hexadecimal back into RPG colour. Um, the main things you need to know about are is well basically it's just the method. Uh, so A equals ten, B equals eleven, and C equals twelve. This is for when you're converting back over to RPG because you have to work out a thing called base 16 and what that does that enables you to go from above 10 up to 16 and work out the code which I'll show you how it works at the end of this tutorial. Um, the main thing you need to remember would be the 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and 1, 2, 8 um, also on the other side the 1, 2, 4, 8 divided through the middle and then the 1, 2, 4, 8 again. This will all come together once you see how it's done. And the uh, colour we are, I've cho well the colour I've chosen uh, because it's quite versatile and, and show it's a good example to use is orange which is in RGB colour it's 2041530. Um, right so I'll get started with it. So how you do it is you try take away the two one two eight from the two oh four. So if you've got a good cal if you've got a calculator, it's a good way of um, learning how to do it. So it would be two oh four minus one two eight. So that leaves you with seventy six. So that fits into there. So you put a one just underneath it. Then you do minus. 64 from whatever was left from that one which was 76 minus 64 equals 12 so then you put a 1 under that now you're left with 12 32 cannot go into 12 so you put a 0 there 16 can't go into 12 so a 0 under that also 8 now that can go into 12 so minus 8 leaves you with 4 so you put a 1 under that now 4 can go into 4 so you put a 1 under that also now the other 2 there's none left so there's no because there's no numbers left you put 0 0 underneath these ones because they've got nothing to actually go into now this is what you call your binary code which is the 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 now this graph over here you convert your binary code over to this in order from 1 to 8 to 1. So you do 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Now, the way it's divided through the center here, this is because you're looking at these as two separate codes. Now what you do, the ones with the ones underneath, you add them numbers up, so for example I'll use this one. So the one is under the four, you add the four to the eight because there's one under the eight also. So you do the eight plus four and that equals twelve. So underneath that, put twelve. Now you do the same on the other side, which is also twelve. Now once you have your numbers, these added together, you then take this to the code at the top, as you can see up here. So because it goes to 12, you search for 12, which is C. So therefore, 12 equals C. And on this side, 12 also equals C. So you're actually left with C. C for 204 so then 204 equals C C now you cross these out because this is a this is a actual a good way of doing it on paper you cross them out and then you do the exact same for the middle one so then you do start off with 1 5 3 Right, and then minus one two eight. 
right that goes in so you put a 1 on the top now 64 cannot go into 25's <coughs> so 0 0 32 doesn't go into 25 however 16 does minus 16 equals 9 so you put a 1 there goes into there also you're left with 1 4 can't go into 9 so that's 0 2 can't go into 1 and then you're left with that so that's that one done then same as before put it over to this one over here so it would be 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 now you do the same as before and you add the ones up for the numbers below it in the case before above it so 8 9 works out at 9 and that one also works out at 9 now with this one it's a bit different because before it goes from 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 <coughs> in alphabetical order up to G now with it being 12 the C is assigned to 12 so therefore we know that 12 equals C so what we do now because there is no alphabetical letter for 9 you actually just keep the 9 so it will be even though it equals 9 you keep it as 9 so then 1 5 3 equals 9 9 so now what we want to do is convert it back over to our GB just in case you know, somehow this comes up in your life which I really doubt it well it's about as useless as algebra is so basically what you do once you're left with that code you do right, let's say it's so 9 9 9 you do 9 times 16 because it's by base 16 so 9 times 16 equals 144 then you do plus underneath the other 9 because you're going by the first one to the second one so 9 times 16 plus the 9 plus 9 equals 153 so that's quite simple on that. Um, we'll do the other one just in case. So you do, uh, let's see, you do C times 16. C is 12. So 12 times 16. So one nine equals 192. So that equals one, nine, two. Then you do plus whatever's left, which is the other C, which is twelve. So plus twelve equals plus twelve equals two oh four. You're left with two oh four. Right there. So that's how you convert to hexadecimal and RGB the both ways around. Um, I hope this helps, sorry for it's quite a poor example, um, it would be a lot easier if I could do it on paper, unfortunately I've got to do it on the PC, but that's it.